G'day and welcome to this Visions of Chaos tutorial. This tutorial is my first tutorial for Visions of Chaos and aimed at the first time user. Once you have downloaded and installed Visions of Chaos, you can start it up. You will see the Visions of Chaos main window. Visions of Chaos has many sub-programs built in that are referred to as modes. Each of these modes covers a different chaos related task or simulation. The top level mode menu has a series of categories that cover more general topics. The tick marks in the mode menu show you which mode is currently selected. When Visions of Chaos is first installed, it defaults to the Mandelbrot Fractal mode. You can also see the mode name in the title bar and in the leftmost status bar panel. Once you select a mode, the settings dialog for that mode appears. In this case, I will accept the defaults and click OK to generate a Mandelbrot fractal. If you want to change the image size, this can be done in a few different ways. Firstly, clicking and dragging the sides or the corner of the main window There is also the Set Image Size submenu, which covers a bunch of standard image sizes, paper sizes, and sizes that YouTube seems to prefer. If you want to generate an image that matches your current screen resolution, you can change into the full screen mode. This is done by maximizing the window you will then see that the main menu, toolbar and status bar are still here in this floating menu. You can then use Visions of Chaos as normal and it will generate at the full screen size. To go back to your previous size, you can click this undo button and then again render as you like. Let's change it back to 720p. The status bar is at the bottom of the main window here. There are four subsection panels of the status bar. The first panel shows which mode you are currently in. The second panel will show a percentage value when generating larger images that may take some time. The third largest panel will have various statistics and change depending on which mode you're in. Always have a look down here to see what's happening in Visions of Chaos, especially if you're running a mode that can take some time per frame. Even though it may look as if Visions of Chaos is hung, chances are it's churning away, doing some longer calculation. And the final section here, it shows your mouse X and Y coordinates. At first, Many of the Visions of Chaos settings may as well be, you know, written in another language because they all come from mathematicians originally. And so to help you get started, I have included thousands of sample files to have a look at the um, possibilities of what each mode can do. For example, in the Mandelbrot mode here, if you click open and then Visions of Chaos example files, you will see a list of current samples. So if we just uh, load one, let's take sample 20. And there you go. And so the same as the other modes, you can then zoom in, zoom in to explore this. Or again, load up a different one. So always make sure that if a settings dialog has got an open button, you click that and have a look and get a good idea of what each mode is capable of. And now let's cover it zooming in. For many of the modes, and especially fractals, you want to be able to zoom in and have a look at the further in depths of the fractals. Um, to do this, zooming in is quite simple. You just click the point you want to zoom into, and then click this plus sign. You can do this multiple times. Alternatively, you can click and hold and drag 
which will then size the uh, zoom box. You can click and drag it around and then click again to zoom in. To zoom out, you can use this zoom out button. But if you want to go back to the start point, just click on this reset or home button here and it takes you back to that starting point. That concludes this first Visions of Cast tutorial. Let me know in the comments if you want more. I will be starting to cover more in-depth topics and have specific tutorials on each of the modes if there is sufficient interest. Thanks for watching.